Well, yeah, my name is Major Slack. Thanks for joining me again. Let's walk through some more Borderlands 2. And after the second wind insanity of the previous two videos, let's return to something a little more strategic. And let me show you my loadout here. I did a little shopping and I did a little gambling off camera. And I've got some new stuff here. This is new. This is fantastic. I field tested it. It turned out to be a champion. Uh, this is a new rocket launcher. It's got a fantastic reload speed and fantastic fire rate, even though the damage is not that great. But boy, is it a lifesaver. Um, I think I bought this. I'm pretty sure I power shop this. So this is our new caustic sniper rifle to replace the Vlad off I had earlier. Much more damage, lower fire rate, but um, much more damage and um, more um, corrode damage as well. The corrode chance is higher, <coughs> part of me as well. For this next run, we are going to opportunity. Um, I highly recommend that you bring some kind of torque weapon, okay? Uh, you're gonna need that for power loader, some kind of caustic sniper, uh, the heartbreaker, and a rocket launcher for a second wind. And I can finally use this cunning binder class mod because I have a point now in Reaper. So this is the skills I have. I always have one point in sweet release just as a kind of backup. Five in flicker, five in foresight, three in helios, one in immolate. I don't know if I really need this. Yeah, let's free spec. I'm going to take that point out of the Emily. I don't really need that anymore because now that we have rock, a really decent rocket launcher, that's, that's redundant. Let's respec. spec. Okay, here we go. One in street release, five in flicker, five in foresight, cloud kill. Three in Reaper, no, three in um, Helios, definitely. Can we put one there? You have to put four in Helios before we can. There we go. And one in Reaper. Is that all of them? How did I. Oh, yeah, I had. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, so that's the way I want it. Yeah, beautiful. That's it. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I haven't spent a golden key in a while. Let's see. I can't do this in practice runs, eh? So I can only. Uh, I did one in pr a practice run by mistake. And, uh. Yeah, it turned out to be crap. So, what did we get this time? Uh, looks like a, an assassin class mod. I can't even use that. And. Huh. I'm not really into which, cl which class mods anymore. That's too bad. Okay, so we struck out again. I'm gonna sell these two. One in Helios and one in Flicker. It's not bad, maybe I'll keep it. Experiment with that off camera. Okay, so that's, we're keeping that, we're stashing that. This is being sold. Uh, that should have a star. Stashing the other TMP and then we're off to opportunity Stop shopping, Slack. Okay, okay, sorry. Oh, yeah, and I have 10 Iridium. I won 4 Iridium gambling. It was great. I should have a... Because I remember to record that. I just record the winning part. So we're going to spend that on the second upgrade for pistols. For now, um, this guy goes in here. And this goes in our which, our class mod container, which is Claptrap Stash. Everything else we're bringing along. Hey, Sam. Hey, Brick. Sorry, a little bit of running around, a little bit of explanation and business at the beginning here. 
Oh, this is full. Well, I think the lobs bonus package is done. I don't think I'm going to go back to it. So. Yeah, because we're going to need another great grenade mod. So it's been a slice. Really been a slice, dude. You were a lot of fun. Okay, so let's check the ammo. Oh, we need grenades. Um, let's just buy some expensive grenades here. Splurge. 331 bucks. Wow. See, that's why you should always go back to the, the southern shelf to buy ammo. It's so cheap. Okay, we are ready. Sniper, that 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 that's correct. Let's go. And before we go, <laughs> sorry. We should take on Moxie's mission, Hell Hath No Fury. This is gonna give us a fantastic grenade mod, the Kiss of Death, a great transfusion grenade mod. Hey Moxie, how you doing? Hang on. Let me get on the break here to look at you. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, here we go. Come here, Moxie. Wanna help me out? Sure. The voice like that? Anything. Jack destroyed my underdome after I dumped him. And now he wants to build his own arena to rub it in my face. You don't get it! Nobody gets get it! Get out to opportunity and kill the construction Can do. Are you gambling in Slack? No, no, I'm not gambling. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Fuse time. Oh. Um, I just want to get rid of this. Two words, my friend. No refund. I saw that I slack. What? 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 Dude. Spinning out here, boss. Whee! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to put a note in the video saying opportunity begins at the eight minute mark. Chambers, <laughs> you'll need to be Jack. That means passing a bio scan and speaking a password in his voice. If you can kill one of Jack's body doubles in opportunity, I can get you through that door. Okay, now let's take on this mission here. Statuesque. There's one right there. Uh, but first, let's start off opportunity like I always like to. It's kind of like strategic beginning here. Up here. Around the corner. Blast this guy. And the warloader always spawns there. Down he goes. Watch out for the turret here. And take the high ground over this statue here. Okay, Claptrap has instructed us to shoot the statue. Um, let's shoot it with the weapon that we don't want, don't mind wasting ammo on. The statues are bulletproof. You win this round, inanimate object. Minion, I need you to search the opportunity drop zone for a deactivated constructor. Then you can use it to cut through the statues for you. 
Gotcha. Gotcha. Hold up, hold up here. This is a great standoff point. Take cover here. Got the high ground then, everybody. See that guy there. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Place is rife. I see you. Bugger got it off. I'm not seeing any sweet release. There it is. Okay, I was wondering. Okay, laser beam guy. Enough out of you. I just clipped right through the. Okay, whatever. Let him get away with that. That's what I need. What to tell my wife? She's a bitch. Ha 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 ha! Hilarious. <laughs> There's the switch. Okay, so. Almost all quiet, all quiet on the western front. One more red dot here. And someone down there. Let's go take care of him. Up close and personal, like. Is it you? What the hell? Here we go. Come here, buddy. Okay, now. See if we can get some ammo from these boxes here. Statuesque. Search the drop zone for the overseer and know exactly where he is. How's our inventory? Very good. Okay. This is where we're going to do. We're going to go up there and skinny along there, take up the high ground. The overseer is right around the corner here, but this could be a really active location. This is what I did in my uh, zero walker too. This is a great strategy. You just snipe everything that comes out, and you get in trouble, just back up here and you got perfect cover. That's the plan. Let's do it. Set things off. First. Stay still. Bye now. <laughs> Bye now. Now sometimes a loader, as uh, rather a constructor, will spawn there. Sometimes, not always. Okay, it looks pretty calm. Let's go get the overseer. Cool. Hey, buddy. You found a constructor. Just boot him back up, and he ought to treat you as an ally. You'll be like his mommy, his gun-toting, profanity-spewing mommy. 
<laughs> Profanity spewing mommy, you've heard us play, eh? Okay. Okay. He's waking up. Great. Trust the vault hunter, robot. Alright. The constructor's working again. Make sure to protect it while it's wrecking the statues. Okay, he's on his way. Now the best thing to do is run ahead. We're gonna take the same high high ground spot. And cover this guy's butt while he's cutting cutting down the statue. Okay, and it's gonna take a little bit of Super Mario stuff here, so quite what? upset. This is so much time getting up here. No, I got a second so win already. I yeah, I can't see a damn thing. Here we go. Time out. Bot's fine. It's almost full. Okay, let me get the right loadout on here. Definitely a Torg there. Heartbreaker. That's correct. Everything's good. Oh yeah, and put the cunning back on. And we're good. Oh, here, here we go. Hyperion command is making your request for the construction team. One. Start dying left. Right. Actually, it looks like that was the only thing on the list. Still, <laughs> Okay, next. Get ahead of the bot. Get on your heartbreaker. We're gonna hang a hard left here and we'll wipe out everybody, all these engineers that come spawning out here. Eventually, a constructor is going to spawn over. Here's a, a warloader. Okay, this is the job for okay, whatever. <laughs> Insane, eh? Okay, I see somebody over here. Same deal here, the constructor, this thing is going to plant itself here. Find the best thing is to come up here and wipe out all the buys, the guys that spawn right here. Oh shit! Stay still. 
here we go. These guys here. Jeez. Okay, they're inside the force field. This is not good. Another one down. Insane. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Super badass loader. Please die, please die. Thank you. Yeah, we know. This does not bode well. Uh oh. I got nothing to shoot. Uh oh. There you go. No fuck. Got him. <laughs> Pull that one out of my out of my butt. Give up already! Hey, Jack, they're running. Ha. <sighs> ah, okay. That's the toughest one. Sometimes the Jack body double gets in the mix here. That happened to me in a practice round. Okay, let's reload. This what I'm doing is is this the routine. Everything pretty much spawns like this. Basically, you just go counterclockwise. You start here and go counterclockwise. Wipe everything out. Constructor always spawns there. There we made it. Oh my god. Just a few hands Jack. Uh first thing he said we didn't want to throw on the nurse mod ball. with dancing bots. They tend to really blow things up. Kinda. If 
Phew, we made it. Okay, now. Inventory, we got lots of room. We are right near a loot chest right down here. And there's another one in front. First, let's go to the vending machines here. Just tacking this on to the end of the run. Yeah, if you go along the south side, the southwest side of Opportunity. The residential quarter, to be exact. There's some vending machines here. Hang a left up here. Follow these stairs up. Hang it right here. Oh, a whole bunch of relics. Okay. Next, uh, this one, I always get lost trying to find this one. See the map here? Here it is, right there. Yeah. It's kind of like out of the way. Yeah, really hidden here. And finally, the one at the helipad that we didn't have the chance to loot because we're like kind of like taking care of the constructor, and at this point, another constructor may spawn. Good place to take care of this here. Get out your sniper rifle. Go for the critical hit spot as soon as it plants. Hang on, reloading. No fair. And. That's enough out of you. And enough of the heavy leaners, let's put the cunning binder back on. Okay, let's do this right now. Apocalypse now. <laughs> yeah, I was doing that back afterwards with the uh, the other run there. Doing the phase lock first and then throwing out the singularity grenade. That's Mr. Fumblefinger screwing it up. Okay, this guy right here. And uh oh. Slack is killing it. Here come the authorities. That's it for this run. We're going to come back to op Opportunity um, next video and take care. Get a really excellent grenade mod with Hell Hath No Fury. And then we're going to take care of the man who would be Jack. So for now, let's just quit save. Back to the beginning. And go back to Sanctuary and turn it in. To Claptrap. At least I'm still breathing. Kinda. 
Steady step there. There you go, Clappy. And we're gonna pass on your birthday for now. Sorry, buddy. That's it for this video. I want to thank you all very much for watching. See you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.